This is Matt Beagle with your Stratomatic Strategy of the Month. This is part of a series on how to do the best at the online game. Stratomatic has unleashed their own baseball online game now, taking it back over from the Sporting News with some unique twists, and we're going to talk about some winning strategies when playing the online game. The season's underway now, so sometimes you're looking for a new draft type league. We all know the thrill of building our own team, and Stratomatic allows us to do that through their online game. The first thing to understand is that it's a salary cap game, so you have to figure out which salary cap you'd like to use, and then you have to build a roster within that salary cap. Once you build that roster, though, they're not your players. What you must do then is get your team under that cap, and there's sort of a blind bidding system. Basically, the game engine so let you list your players top to bottom in the priority you'd like them, and the game engine compares everyone's priorities. And if you have a player at top priority and no one else does, you get that player. But if multiple teams put a player at top priority, it's a random factor as to who get that, gets that player. So the reality is you're going to not get many of the players that you wish. I've seen as high as half your players not come into your team. If you do not get a player, the game engine assigns you the next highest salary at that primary position of the player you missed out. So sometimes one of the strategies when you're doing your bid list is not always putting your highest cost players at the top. You may say, well, there's five different third basemen I like at the top of the draft. It's an expensive position, but I don't care which one I get. And maybe you'll list that player last on your list, knowing that you'll get either the person you wanted or one of the next five down. Uh, you just want to get a good one. You don't care which one you get. So there's lots of different strategies here that enter into it when you're looking at this game. When you're setting up your list of players to get under the cap, remember that you want flexibility here. Stratomatic Online, players only play positions listed on their card. So if someone's a center fielder, you can't play him in left or right. It only plays center field. So when you're setting up your roster, one of the best things you can do is Pick multi-position players. If you have a few guys that you like equally, and one is an outfield three and one is a center field three, you want the one that says outfield three because they give you more flexibility after the draft is over uh, to manu manipulate around your roster to figure out how you want to set it up. So the more multi-position players you can put on your initial bid list, the more flexible you'll be later to adjust in case you don't get the players you want into the draft. The other thing is that you want balanced players on the initial bid. You may want to set up platoons later for financial reasons, but initially you want to try to get as balanced of a team as you can. Look for cars that have balance ratings of three or less so that they're equally good against left or right-handed pitchers. Again, you may only get a third or two-thirds of the players you bid on, and they're going to be the core of your team. Once you see who's definitely on your team, then you can start to tweak and decide where you're going to save money, where you're going to spend money. Uh, you may have went for a player that was very even, and you get the next player down because someone else had a higher priority on that player, and that player is maybe very good against right-handers but not very good against lefties. Then maybe you're just going to add a lefty platoon or cut that player, take that salary, and start all over again. That's called the free agent frenzy. After you put your roster in, and the computer determines which teams get which players, there's a free agent frenzy. And that's where you cut whatever players of yours you want, they get re-entered back into the pool, and then you get to add new players for that same roster spot. Uh, so you can get a lot of financial flexibility uh, by getting, let's say you really put all your money on a first baseman, the Albert Pujols at the top of the draft, you ended up with Paul Canerco, and you don't like Canerco, you can cut Canerco and then have all that salary now to go after someone else at another position on the diamond. This is Matt Beagle for Stratomatic Strategy of the Month.